Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Disneyland Resort invites you on a spectacular journey to imagination and beyond. Join us now as we travel to tomorrow. It isn't very far. On a journey. You might think of it as sort of a musical trip through Disneyland. And along the way, we'll be taking a look at yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's right, Lori and I know just the place to start. Yesterday. But we can't go back in time, can we? No, but we can do the next best thing. We can visit Main Street, USA. We're walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. It's the heart of America, heartbeat of a holiday. The place was made with a magical plan. Just around the corner, there's a fantasy land. We're walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. I hear the music playing from the big, bright marching band. from across the land You'll see the greatest smiling faces up and down the street It's remarkable how friendly all the people can be We're walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA Tropical rains, all the animals. 
animals are singing loud and clear. On a tropical drum beat gets under your skin. There is only one place we can be, Adventureland. Ride right on the jungle cruise. Feelings you'll never lose. Listen, it's calling to you, Adventure. Yo-ho, yo-ho, kidnapping rabbits and don't give a hoot, drink up me hearty, yo-ho, 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 yo -ho. a pirate's life for me, and sort of pilfer and filch and sack, drink up me hearty, yo-ho, go on, we're all in impensary, even high tech, drink up me hearty, yo-ho, 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 a pirate's life for me, yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me, Oh boy, you guys are pretty scary. Oh, we weren't that scary. But you know, I don't think Goofy's good enough to be a pirate of the Caribbean. Wait a minute, Mark. This is supposed to be a musical journey through all of Disneyland. I think it's about time we head on over to Frontier. Whoa, what was that? Well, look at there. It's a baby crocket. Born on a mountaintop in Tennessee. Greenest state in the land of the free. Raised in the woods so we knew every tree. Killed him and fire when he was only three. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. a bar and he's twice as strong and he knows he's right cause he ain't often wrong Davy Think you'd like to come out and join us? Yeah! You bet! Next stop, Splash Mountain! All oh, right! Well, you know it is a thrill when you go downhill Cause you're riding on a mountain of your own free will And you're zipping in a flash down a daring dash On a waterfall so rapid that you go splish splash Zippity doo dah Sunshine, head my way. Zippity All right, go get them, guys. Splash Mountain for you. <laughs> hey, you know what? Mark, we haven't visited Fantasyland yet. Oh, well, no problem. Next stop, the place where dreams come true, Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Fantasy is a land here at Disneyland, where fantasy 
Okay, so now can we go to the new Tomorrowland? I saw that cool Astro Orbiter at the entrance, all shiny and gold. Oh, I'm just dying to try it out. You bet. And don't forget, honey, I shrunk the audience, where the whole audience gets shrunk to the size of a shoebox. And I want to ride Rocket Rods, the fast new transportation system of the future. Well, what about my old favorites like Space Mountain and Star Tours? Oh, man, there's so much to do. Too bad we can only do one thing at a time. Well, then we'd better get going if we're going to see it all. Come on! All right! <laughs> Chase, the time is now. Set your sights to a place in the earth under sea out in space. Blast off, cast off, see the future through your hopes and your schemes. Blast off, cast off, to a land where you discover your dreams. Get ready, get set, fire up the jets and blast off.
Get up then. Yeah. 
Were you going to tell me something, Mark? Ron, your, your Main Street, your Main Street is on. Yeah. They had some problems with it. Oh. Okay. Lots of people with cables and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Give us plenty of time to get over there, okay? Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to have uh, Rick. You want to just have no, Kathleen have do the tease? Okay. You want to have a Sure. Circle D. Circle D corral. Just Kathleen when you send it back. Oh. Come on, Roxy, let's see you run out. Roxy, go run out there. Come on, let's see you. <laughs> now. <laughs> Tanya, you should be out here too. Look at. Go, 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 go! There you go. Yeah, you'd have a good time. Would you come out here and try this cosmic wave, do you think? I am dry, but the back of my pants are wet. But look at all these people that are lined up over here. Look at this. This is like uh, one of the biggest attractions here so far in the grand opening of Tomorrowland. And no lines. <laughs> and a lot of people either do this or watch those that do. Hey, we want to tell you about a place here at Disneyland. You know, when Disneyland originally opened back in the 50s, they had a lot of animals here pulling a lot of uh, various uh, transportation vehicles, wagons and stagecoaches and stuff like that. They still do have a lot of animals here. You saw Kathleen Bate earlier holding that huge snake. They have a lot of horses. They have, and there he is. there's one of the horses right there, eager to get in on the act. They have a place over here that hasn't changed since they opened it. It's called the Circle D Corral, and when you go back in there, they have the original buildings. It's the original ranch that was here before they actually built Disneyland. Let's take a look now at the Circle D Corral. Real five. Now I go back there? No, I toss back. You pass it just to Kathleen. All right, Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. This is, it's about time your IFB started working. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that was like maybe the 10th package I'd done that day. <laughs> you could tell I was really enthusiastic and eager. The other way. How does this look if I'm way back here and you kind of compress fairly tight? It's just me and the castle. Can't see it. Oh. Okay. All right. About about this far from here to there. Okay.
Yeah. What? No. <laughs> How, how does this, is this, is this computerized or what? I think it's on a cycle. Oh. No, yeah, it's got a computerized cycle. So there's nobody like watching and going, get him now! <laughs> Stay in the sun, my friend. I'm just going to sit right here. See you if you're 15 away. Big high energy kick his butt. So the next time you're out here at Disneyland and you see the animals pulling the fire wagons or whatever, you know that they're being taken really well care of here at the Circle Day Corral. They got it made. They're on a four-day work week, Kathleen. <laughs> and you said that Walt used to like to go over there and pet all the animals after uh, his uh, uh, dinner time, didn't he? Yeah, they said that he was an animal type of guy, you know. He's one of those guys that like to be around horses and animals. And every day in the evening, he'd mosey back with a cup of coffee and just kind of talk to the animals. Certainly seems like a man with a personal touch. Thank yeah. you very much, Rick. And speaking of that, we're going to tell you a very personal history story about all those people who have dedicated their work life to making Disneyland the happiest place on earth. We'll have that when we return on our California getaway. Just don't forget Main Street because if there's any place... One. Hey, Rich, can you hear me, Rich? Rich Dubeck? Can, um, can Rick and Kathleen's mics be open anyway when I... No, he can hear me. Rich can hear me right now. Um, can Rick and Kathleen's mics be open when I'm doing the beauty bump? Because I want to kind of talk to them as I do the intro. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, you guys, quick, can you name? One, two, three, four, there we go. Uh, what is the beauty bump, Rich? M Mad Hatter. Oh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Okay. Of course, my IFB is in and out a little bit, but I think I'll be able to hear him. Okay, you guys, quick, name all the different theme parks. All right, that's good. Yes. Just Kathleen? Just Kathleen? Okay, just Kathleen. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, quick, you guys. All different theme areas. He's Mike. He's Mike. It's on the morning. It is 8.43, Fox 10 Arizona morning, live this morning from Disneyland and from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. We're out here on Main Street. 
In fact, you guys, you know, if you were going to name all the different themed areas real quick, right off the top of your head here at Disneyland, could you do it? Uh, uh, Fantasyland. Tomorrowland. Frontierland. Adventureland. Uh, Toontown. Main Street, USA. You got them. Um, Is that all of them? I think you got them all, yeah. but you definitely don't want to forget Main Street. Thank, Thank you. you. The studio you. audience here, which of course is growing by the thousands here at Main Street, appreciates it because, you know, Main Street is the one area that really captures the essence of Walt Disney. This is supposed to be his hometown as he grew up in the Midwest come to life. And it's the one spot that probably will never change too much while the rest of Disneyland continues to grow like Tomorrowland does because this is the place where there are stories to be told behind every window. Two and a half. Okay. Now we just do this. So, at the end, you want me to go with that, or what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Um, yeah, start on it and come out to me. Okay. Hello. Uh huh. You from Phoenix? Good. Have a good time. Go ride those rocket rods, kids. Hello, everybody. Are you from the valley? Mesa. Where in Mesa? Higley and Brown. Where? Higley and Brown. I'm like two miles from you. Hold on to the mic and I'm about power and Brown. Hold on to the mic because you think you're blocking them. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. I think it's an boy. There you go. We figured that one out, didn't we? Okay. And there's. Well, yeah, okay, good, yeah. But you're gonna be too wobbly. Yeah. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's nice. I'm mad about it. How far away are we from? Uh, I'm guessing 45, maybe. A minute, maybe. And there's one more window we should mention. That one right there. Established 1895. It's Walt's dad, Elias Disney. That was his dad, right? Elias? Yeah, Elias. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> Toss back to Rick and Kathleen or just Kathleen? Toss back to Rick or Kathleen? Both. Thank you. And you're looking at the first window that was ever dedicated to someone, Elias Disney. It says right up there, contractor, established 1895. That was Walt's own salute to his dad, Elias Disney. So hopefully, next time you're walking up Main Street, you'll think about some of these names on these windows, you guys, because I'm telling you, there are not only thousands of people here. Half of them, I think, are from Arizona. They've all been yelling, Hooner, we've been watching you on Fox 10. School's out in the valley for a lot of schools, so they're all showing up. Disneyland. <laughs> oh, I bet for the long weekend, too. Hey, that gives me a newfound appreciation of Disneyland and Main Street. You know, that puts a little more meaning into it. Walt Disney's apartment and those uh, windows there. Certainly does. Yeah. So when you walk down Main Street, don't forget to look up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, as you know, the Skipster is with us today, and he's about to uh, tell us about something else he's about to do. That's right. Whatever it is. Hey, I'm a rocket man! And coming up, I'm going to take a ride on a rocket here on this Arizona morning. <laughs> Is this the last segment? Beauty, Skippy, then flashback. Two minutes. Two minutes away. Whew. 
I'm cold. Nice move there, Grace. <laughs> You're trying to go, you look around like, did anybody see that? Did you see me fall last week? Oh, you almost hung yourself. It was like last week, but it was only like <laughs> two days ago. ago. I know, I'm so excited hey to go. Guys, home. last segment. What are you shaking your head about? What's your problem? So sad. I feel like I'm going to cry. Well, Skippy's getting on. Who are those chairs? Is it? Don't worry. Move your little thingy there. Where is your Um, maybe in the, I don't know. Where no. does this chair go? It's wrong. This side is Whatever those yellow things. What's wrong? No, there's like this yellow thing? Yeah. Just a little bit further. Just a little bit further. Yeah. Just have yeah. this car like right there. Mm -hmm. A little bit further. A little bit further. Thank you. A little bit further. Well, that'll do. Can you get okay. the sun to come over here? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going down there. Uh, uh, he's already down there. <laughs> I thought you. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Easily a dozen, maybe maybe more. Different parties of people, all really? from Phoenix. I mean, everywhere we're going. Oh, it's too bad. We should brought them all over. Well, bring them by the set here. We got three minutes. I'll do the bump, and then someone else could do. Is there a bump? Is it a toss to Skippy? What's going on? We got yeah. A bump. a bump. Bump, and then toss to Skippy. And bye. Welcome back to Fox 10 Arizona Morning, live from Disneyland, and you're looking at the classic tradition of the Matterhorn right next to the new Tomorrowland. And that's what it's all about here at Disneyland. 60 major attractions here, and now the grand opening of the new Tomorrowland brings you some fresh new rides to get aboard. Earlier, we had an astronaut on the show yesterday, of course. We had uh, Hoot Gibson. Mm -hmm. Now we got another rocket man who we want to introduce you all to. <laughs> we need a little Elton John singing to us oh, right that now. Would be yeah, perfect. that would be neat. <laughs> Skipster sees in control of the rockets. Did Are you, you say Hoot Gibson? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yes, that's he right. He was on the show he yesterday. He was on the show yeah. yesterday. Hey, you know what I'm sitting in here? Where are you, Wave? I'm at, oh, I'm there at, you the, are. Okay. I'm at the Astro Orbiter. Astro, all right. <laughs> and we're going to take a ride. Let's take a ride right now, you guys. Crank it in. Are we ready to go? I need, no, I got one here. It won't work. Oh, I need another kind of mic so you can hear the screams of excitement. We're just going to wire me up here. <laughs> it's nothing like doing this on live television, huh? It's pretty exciting. This is how it's done. We put the, and I'll just put that right there because I'm sure that'll be safe. So, what's that? I have my belt on and we're ready to go. Let's take off. Onward, onward. Can, which mic am I, which, can you see me here? You can see me here? Okay. Can you see me over there? These guys are great. I want to thank the crew of Disneyland. I, I want to thank the I, I, I want to thank the crew of Disneyland for being so patient with uh, all of us from other mic. Uh, on this mic. Okay. People are I don't know what to do here. Is, is the thing ready to go yet? No. Are we ready to go? No? Yeah. Are you guys having a good time? Yay! Say hi to Phoenix. Yes. Yay! Okay. This. Okay. This is it. Where I'm remaining seated. I actually have control of this rocket too, to some extent. We're going around now. Okay. Here we go. And and now what does this do? Oh, this makes it go higher. This is pretty cool. You know, I'm really, I'm really sorry I had lasagna last night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wave, wave, where this are you? Is really, hey. How are you doing? This is, now wait a minute, when I come around again, you see, right there they are. Can you there make it go. go up and down? What? Can I'm you make it go up and down? Okay, let me make go it on, go. Go on, dive, dive. Dive, I'm diving. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. <laughs> Oh, the humanity. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back up now. I'm climbing. Wait, oh, higher, well, higher. Yeah, I'm bouncing. That's not good. I'm bouncing. Is it supposed to bounce? <laughs> All right, now I'm back up here. 
Well, they might have to work some of the kinks <laughs> out. Right. Uh, unfortunately, these don't come with a parachute, or I'd try that out as well. <laughs> This is the best. It's the Astro Orbiter. Rick and Ron and Kathleen, you should ride with me. Hey, set her down in the wheel skip. Come, come fly with me. Fly me to the moon. How about come fly with me? Come fly. <laughs> Let's fly away. No, no kidding. <laughs> All right. It's a lot of fun. Boy, I can't believe that we're winding down here. We're in the home stretch of our California getaway, and it has been quite a week for all of us. An entire week, huh? It has been. It's been it's incredible. San Diego all this quality year. time. <laughs> It's like we don't want to say goodbye to Disneyland. We've had such a great time I'm, here. I'm as well as choked up over here. <laughs> okay. Rick's going to need a moment I while we show you folks here. some of the highlights from this week. Check <laughs> it out. Two minutes and eight seconds long, guys. Oh, they're not hot rolling those? Oh, this. No. Back there. Okay, so what happens? How much time out of this? How much time out of this? About 90 out of the package, guys. 90. 90? Okay. We should joke around about not having any idea what's coming up on Monday's show. Coming up on Monday's show. We should joke about we'll say, what, what that we say? have no idea what's coming up on Monday's show. <laughs> so what, we, could, we could say we're going to have um, Tina Sinatra. No. Oh, we could say all these like. Um, how do you top this? Well, let's all take Monday off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a great shot. Was that our closer? Is that our closing shot, that sweep? One of them, I think. Is that up on the, top? The whole sweep, that? the whole move was cool. Hey, Armando, can he do the same shot and just kind of like sweep it? Uh, whoever's got their shot up right now. I don't remember what that was. Okay. <laughs> you guys were wonderful. <laughs> this is like radio. Thirty away, guys. Thirty away. Can you hear the package? Come on up, Skip. Come, come on. Package? Yeah, we can hear it. I didn't know they had it in the market. Oh, you're great. You're great. You know what? We oh. took it off that anyway. Yeah. Oh, what do you need? What do you need? I lost that. What? They're going to call them in. They're going to call them in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Five away. Seven away. Wait till we spike. So, in other words, the week started off with kind of a lame version of the Gilligan's Island theme, <laughs> and it wrapped up with us trying to do It's a Small World. <laughs> it's a, it's good, not been a great week for singing. Well, it's a good thing the Osmond family continues to have generation after generation. <laughs> you know, wherever we go and wherever we, we've been in the last uh, five days, we just can't seem to get rid of that cat. We can't. <laughs> and there it is again. And then the cow shows up, and then things really get kind this of has been an animal theme here. Well, uh... For Monday morning, this is, I don't know what you guys have planned, but uh, I'm calling in sick. <laughs> really? I mean, we're going to let Skippy show. I just feel a lot of love in the room right now, and I just, oh. I'd like to just say thank you so much to everybody in California for putting up with us. Uh. There's that darn cow. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that's it for a great Bye. week. Thanks for joining us on our Fox 10 Arizona Morning California Getaway. We'll see you back Monday oh, live boy. in the Valley of the Sun. Does anyone help me with my leg?